Hey guys, it's X and Shadow, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the last part, we tackled what is arguably the most annoying mission in Grunty's Industries, the Clinker Cavern. And yeah, I am so glad to get that done and done and over with. But anyway, in this part, we're going to be cleaning up most of what's left in Grunty's Industries uh, for the time being. There's still a few missions that we won't be able to complete on our first run, and we're not even going to complete the rest of the level in this part. But, you know, we're going to... we're almost done, guys. Don't worry, there's not too much of this obnoxious, obnoxious level left. It's it's just a stamina thing, you know? It's just like, you know, you play Grunty's Industries in spurts, you know, assuming that you remember where all of the doodads are. It's not that bad, right? But when you play it all at once, you know, you it's just a slog. It's, ugh, ugh. It's just, going through all of Grunty's Industries can take, like, two hours, and it's just not... Well, it, it's kind of fun. You know, Banjo-Tooie is such an inherently fun game that, you know, I, I, it's not like torture to go through Grunty's Industries or anything, but I don't look forward to it, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like um, chicken for dinner, I guess is the best way I can put it. You know, just like, okay, you know, it's food, I'll eat it, but, you know, I'm not going to want it every night or anything when... Uh, I, I don't know, I'm bad at analogies is basically the moral of the story today. Anyway, in order to get the last uh, air thing from the fourth floor, well, not the last thing from the fourth floor, but the, you know, that mission where we needed, uh, the last mission in the fourth floor is one that is locked by, yep, another battery. So we're going to have to go and take Solo Banjo and go find that uh, motherfucker. And, well, the last battery that I left for myself, well, at least I think it's the last battery that I left for myself, uh, well, this battery is right here, so... Uh, it's the same sort of deal, you know, just grab a battery, stuff it in your backpack, and bring it over to the, um, bring it over, uh, get in there! There we go. You know, just grab that battery, and then bring it over to the, and bring it over to the door. It's pretty simple. You know, same old deal. Although, that battery is surprisingly well guarded. I, I don't know, I guess they take their double A's seriously in Grunty's Industries. Uh, maybe people keep on stealing them out of the supply closet or something? I don't know, it's... It, well, we, we got it, and that's the more important thing. And unfortunately, since I don't really have a good editing point here, we've got to wait until Banjo walks all the way over to the warp pad before I cut to the room where we actually do stuff, so... Yeah, that's fun. Watching me get turned around and lost in Grunty's Industries. This is what playing the level is like, guys. I, I just have to stress that enough. Playing Grunty's Industries is walking around the same floors, getting lost, getting yourself turned around until you finally remember where you're supposed to be. And that's just... Oy. Oy, oy, oy. And I can't even edit because it's in the same room. And I probably could have cut stuff out, but I chose not to because I am a dolt. Yeah, we already know where it is past me. I, I, well, I mean, I guess I could have cut more, but this part's only like 11 minutes, and 15's the standard now, right guys? Like, people mostly expect 15 nowadays. I'm, I'm kind of cutting it short, although back in my day, back, you know, in 2008, 2009, you know, you, 10 minutes was the golden standard here, people. You don't know how spoiled you guys are with your 15 minute and 30 minute parts. You, 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 bat, you, you should be grateful, Dan, that you get 11 minutes. It's just, it, it, it's nice, guys. Come on, come on. To support my laziness. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll stop. Anyway, same deal as always. Battery, battery holder thingamahoozit. Although, you're going to need Kazooie for this section, so take advantage of that swap cloud there. Thankfully, at the very least, Kazooie moves faster than Banjo Solo, so, you know, the backtracky issue that we had before, not as much of a problem. And although I do think that you can make it there while running on the backwards heading uh, uh, conveyor belt, um, I wouldn't really recommend it a whole lot because, well... It, it, it would take significantly longer, and Kazooie doesn't need a treadmill at the moment. She just needs to get to the level, and that's just what I want to do. So, yeah. If you want to waste your time by running on that treadmill, be my guest. I, I, I can't stop you from making awful, awful, awful decisions. You know, that's your... That's what you signed up for when you wanted this whole free will thing. You know, I could have taken over the world, but no, you're all like, I like not being crushed under the heel of a tyrannical dictator. Eh. Yeah. <sighs> 
Anyway, the cable room. This room has 90s X-Men. Awesome. Ow. It's also dark and shocky, even though, you know, I think those things are supposed to have insulation on them, but, you know, there's like zero safety codes in this entire level, so I'm not really all that surprised. Anyway, I don't really want to call this like a, a, a mini game, but, you know, it's a... It, it's close enough that I'm just going to call it one. Anyway, it's really simple. You need to shoot the 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 barrels with the rare logo on them. And if you miss, well, sometimes you just miss, but if you hit one of the green ones, the room will fill up with a gas that fills out uh, that that depletes your um what's this called? It depletes your it depletes your health really damn quickly, so I actually recommend standing close to the door when you do this uh, mission. Uh, the problem is is that when you stand close to the door, uh, it takes the farther away from the barrels you shoot, the longer it takes for your eggs to reach the thing, and of course, the longer it takes for your eggs to le reach the thing, the harder it is to aim, because you know... THAT! <laughs> So yeah, the toxic gas will deplete your health really, really, really quickly, and you're going to want to get out of there as soon as possible. Thankfully, however, when the uh, when you reset the gas by pressing the fan button in the cable room, uh, you start back where you left off, so it's not like you lose any progress on the minigame, you just gotta try again. Because th this cutscene will lie to you. Because it's showing the, the barrels moving at their normal speed, but they'll be uh, the barrels will still be moving at the speed that they were initially when you go back into the room. So you don't really lose progress. It's just it's a punishment for messing up the mission. You know you can't you, you got to go and press the fan button and start and go back in. You know it's not too annoying, but it is annoying enough that you want to get this thing done on your first try. Unlike that, so. Yeah, see, look, even though the cutscene showed them moving at a slower uh, rate, uh, well, now they're um, now they're moving at the normal rate, so, yeah. Uh, I recommend um, it doing what I'm doing here and shooting uh, down below to just to try to um, practice your timing with the, with the barrels. Because, you know, if you practice a few times, it becomes a little bit easier to make the shot. I'm pretty sure that the timing, the, like, I'm pretty sure that the barrels don't speed up or slow down. I think they just give you less margin for error the more you do it, if that makes any sense. Anyway, even though you get a, a jiggy for that, we can't pick it up until we do the Wumba transformation. So, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be getting that specific jiggy for a while. Also, the Jinjo cry you're hearing in there, that's a Minjo, so ignore that. It, it, if there's a last thing you want to be dealing with, it's a Minjo in that obnoxious room. Anyway, we're wrapping up the rest of the mumbo stuff in this level by uh, going through the most red tapey of all red tape missions, this uh, the electromagnetic chamber. Yeah. So basically, in order to press that button there, you know, that big red button, uh, we need to transform to, into the Wumba transformation for this level. But b because... Well, um, because, well, it's too rusty in order for the button to be pressed. However, the thing is, is that if we try to go there as the Wumba transformation, this magnet thingy will pull us off of the button. So we need to use Mumbo first in order to, uh, whack out the magnet here and keep us from, uh, to allow us to press the button. Although keep in mind that you actually do need to bring the Mumbo pad down from the third floor onto the second one in order to, uh, even start this mission. So yeah, uh, that's red tape number one and red tape number two with Mumbo. And keep in mind, this is all timed, so I'm just going to add that as red tape number three. So, timed Mumbo uh, uh, bill drill thingy. And then we... Okay, so after we use the thing as Mumbo, we need to warp back to uh, to the Mumbo hut and transform back into Banjo and Kazooie. So that's red tape number four, transforming back into Banjo and Kazooie. So, yeah, that takes time because, you know, we got to warp all the way up there, climb up his stupid uh, stairs or ramp. Okay, I will say this about uh, Mumbo. He does keep his uh, his Mumbo hut handicap accessible. You know, that's pretty good. Good job there, dude. Uh, keeping out for the differently abled and stuff. That's that's pretty good. If I ever need to get uh, my shaman on when I'm in a wheelchair, you know, I'll know who to call. And anyway, yeah, now we're Banjo and Kazooie, so that we're on red tape number four, and then we've got to transform into the Wumba transformation, which is red tape number five. Five different layers of red tape just to press one button, which only opens a door to something else. So six things of red tape in order to get this jiggy. It's obnoxious. 
Seven if you count the mission itself that we're trying to unlock here. Anyway, uh, we finally get to see what the Wumba transformation for this level is, because I've been hiding it in mystery from this time. It's a washing machine. <laughs> I don't know, I just, this is one of my favorite transformations in the game, because, you know, we're, we're a washing machine. It's only, only games like this can have something like that, you know, something just simple and charming that makes you smile. It's just like, we're a washing machine. What other game can say that you play as a washing machine in it, you know? Anyway, yeah, I'll talk more about the specifics of this transformation next time because we're starting to run out of time, but yeah. To end this red tape -a -thon, you take that washing machine while the counter's still going, and you press on that obnoxious, obnoxious button. Finally, we've opened the door to another... Uh, Grunty's Industries! Anyway, next time, we finally end this obnoxious, obnoxious level. Thank God. <sighs> yes. Oh yeah, we shoot underwear. I'm X and Shadow, and I'll see you guys later.